Hey game makers! Today there was an update for MV! Woo! <laughs> and that means we get cool stuff and fixes and all that good stuff. Um, if you have never updated your MV copy before and you don't have Steam which does it automatically, there will be a link in the description where you can just go and click download. And what you're going to want to do is going to download this nice little file here called uh, something something update. Woo! And then you're just going to want to update that, and it's going to go into the Katakawa folder. Um, I have all the previous versions just because you should always make a backup in case it decides to just break the universe on your game. So you kind of want to have the other one just in case something goes wrong, and so you can still work on your game while things are kind of being fixed with it. Um, but it'll overwrite our PGMV, and this is the current copy 1.3.0. Um, what you're going to want to do is get the stuff from in here, specifically the index.html and the, well, everything but the plugins. Um, you could probably do these plugins, but you definitely do not want to copy this because this will overwrite your plugins file. I actually have another update video for, I think it was the first update, which kind of goes through this a bit more in detail. This is kind of the abridged speedy version. So you're going to want to copy this, this, these, and this if you want the new plugins that it comes with. Um, I'm not sure if there was any updates to these. I know we have this, which I'll talk about in a minute, which is a splash screen, and that's cool, but pretty much you just kind of wanted this. You want to copy that, and then copy it over your, let's see, you. Let's go you. This is the project I'm working on. Um, you'd want to replace all this stuff. But before you do that, and I can't stress this enough, make a backup of your game. Pretty pretty, please. Because it... Ooh. Um, this one specifically has some Pixie updates. It gets updated to Pixie 4, and that can break some <laughs> things. So just make a quick backup of your plugins files and all of... Pretty much everything in this folder you'll want to make a backup of. Just, just in case. If everything works, you know, it's good. But just in case, you'll you'll probably want to do that. Um, then just replace everything in your game's folder. If you make a new one, a new project, it'll just do this automatically, so you don't have to worry about updating anything. And definitely make sure to update the index.html. Otherwise, you'll be getting errors that probably look a little like this. If it opens. There we go! Undefined is not a function! Uh, hashtag best error. Anyway, let's see, let's see. Let's actually get into the program and see what all they did. Uh, I need to open this. Um, oh yeah, the other thing is in the Katakawa stuff, along with the new data, which you'll want to update, you also have these, which are actually pretty cool. Um, this one's the Japanese one, New Data Fantasy JP and EN for English. Um... I'm gonna say there aren't any other ones besides those two languages, but what you can do is do not overwrite the data file to any of your current projects. Um, just don't, because that would overwrite, like, your maps. Okay, probably just, like, map one. But your troops, your states, your skills, this is gonna overwrite everything. So just copy this into a new project, this data folder, which we're actually going to do here. Project one. This is a project I just made a second ago for um, my quick access and my like three download links. You can go away. Um, oh, what was I saying? Project one for this is just a clean uh, project for MV three or one point three. Um, this one. So that's gonna have a whole bunch of new database stuff, and it is just awesome because MV when it came out for any of you who like haven't used you know version 1.0, it uh, it had the bare minimum of everything, and now we've got like pages of skills and everything is all pretty and organized, and it gives you a lot more. Um, I wouldn't quite say diversity in the formulas, but it shows you a bit more of what you can do with them. And that's really nice. It has a whole bunch of items. Super potion! Ugh. Too much Pokemon. Um, a whole bunch of weapons, and, you know, I don't know if these actually did anything cool. I just browsed through these quickly, but I'm pretty sure they are going to do something cool anyway. You know, for any of these that actually... Oh yeah, they have attack damage there. This one has defense. It's cool. So a whole ton of new stuff. Just 
copy this to a clean new file. Don't overwrite yours, because it'll overwrite all of the any, all of the anything, <laughs> all of anything that you've put into your game. So you don't want to do that. But you can totally just look at these. They're samples. They're great. They're really helpful for learning how to do things like formulas. Um, you got a ton of armor. You got some enemies. You got a mimic. I suppose that's cool. Or I don't think those were in there. I think it only had a couple of these. Uh, let's see, troops. Got some more stuff. States! So many states! I doubt it had this many states. Encounter half, that's cool. Um, oh, what was it on here? There were a few things on here that were really interesting. I can't remember what they are for the life of me now, or why I thought they were so interesting. But, um, this is a really easy way to do some stuff in here. It's great. Easy way to do, like, a repel sort of thing. Um, uh, any new animations? I'm thinking, no, those all look like the same ones. I don't think there are any tile sets. Common events wouldn't have anything. System. I don't see anything new here. And this is all probably the same. So I think that's it for the, um, fantasy pack of stuff. Totally recommend looking, checking it out, seeing how it all works, and that's just great. Um, the editor itself, actually, because it's been updated to fix, uh, Fixie? <laughs> Pixie 4, it, uh, it runs so much better now. Um, this is my game, and my game has a lot of really big maps with lots of events that just take forever to load. And this is obviously going to prove me wrong, but even that was faster than normal. Like, the editor just runs so much better now. And I'm finding, I've only tested it a couple times, but, uh, in-game loading itself actually seems to be working a lot better. Um, so that's really, really nice. And I'm really happy about that, because, oh, I get so frustrated with the lag on this program. But I am so glad that's, um, that's fixed now. Um, though the one problem with it updating to Pixie 4 is... <sighs> any plugins that run with Pixie, um, like... Mog, I'm looking at you, because you have a lot of these. They, uh... They don't want to work right now, so you're probably gonna wanna either... Um, turn them off of your game for now, because it probably shouldn't cause any issues, just having the plugin commands there. Um, I don't think anyway. Uh, just turn those off then if they don't work for you. Um, and wait for either... Well, I guess you'd wait for the plugin to be updated, and then just update it and turn them back on. I wouldn't recommend just taking stuff out of your game, because these are probably all going to get updated at some point or another. Um, I haven't checked if there are any at the moment, but I know that, uh... Certain plugins of mine didn't want to work with the new updates. My game still runs fine, luckily, but um, it, it needs some uh, modifying plugin-wise. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Um, encryption is back! And that is super awesome, because now I can just tell people to go here instead of trying to tell them how to use Enigma or some other encrypting program, and that's great, and you should totally use it. Um, basically, it's under deployment again, you know, up on file, and um, to encrypt it, you just select whether you want images or audio or both encrypted. You can do an encryption key, which I assume if you tried to decrypt it, you'd have to enter as like a password sort of thing. I don't know. I don't go hack things. Um, let's put that in... Sure, let's put that in encryption. Um... Yeah, select that folder. Key is cat! Because why not? And that'll just encrypt it for you, so you shouldn't hide your... You're gonna... Um, you actually, let's not use you. Let's use, um, this one. For whatever reason, my game project doesn't encrypt. It doesn't deploy, it just fails to. And I'm... I'm not sure why. It's in a deployed copy right now. Uh, I don't have it open. Do I have it open? Is this it? Yeah. It's in a deployed state right now. Actually, you can just copy the www file and the um, or folder, and then just put the um, what's called uh, editable file in here, and then you can just run it like that. And then you don't have to constantly really redeploy stuff. Um, but it doesn't want to anymore. I'm not exactly sure why, and it's only my game that seems to have this problem, so... <sighs> anyway, let's uh, do that on you, because you are, you're you going to work. Let's put you in encryption. Okay. Wait a little bit. It's got to encrypt all these files. I mean, it's going to take a while. And this is like a base file. There's nothing in this. Oh my goodness. Um, it should be noted, though, that it only encrypts the actual audio and graphics. 
Um, it doesn't really encrypt anything else, which is fine. I want to say that's how XP did it, but I'm not actually sure. I don't remember. Um, uh, yeah, hi. You're the attempt at Doom GM. You didn't work. Go away. Um, can you, like, stay down quick access? You're in my way. So, yeah, that'll just deploy it like normal. It'll put all these files into, um, RPG MVP files. So you can't open them! It, 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 it doesn't even want to do anything about it. And if you try to, like, say, yeah, you can open your file. No, I'm not going to look for an app in the store. No, we are not going to change the name. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, if you try to ta type it as, like, a PNG, it just would not have any of it, so you don't even... You're not gonna try that. You can still get into these files, though. Um, like all the JSON files and the JS files. You can still go into data. Um, but these can't really be, to my knowledge, um, compressed... Uh, not compressed. What's the word? Um, yeah, encrypted? <laughs> to my knowledge. So you can still go into all of these, but without use of the graphics, copying them probably wouldn't mean a whole lot. Um, but same with audio, it's all nice and encrypted and can't be used. So that's something, at least. I'll give them that. Um, it's, it's nice that it's built in now, at least. Let's see. Oh, so, they brought back my most favorite feature that I was really missing. We have drop-downs with numbers now! <laughs> um, I don't know why, but they took away numbers and it was really hard to find anything, specifically for, like, Common events, which doesn't help me here because I don't have any. It's close. Um, I find after you stop working on your game for a few days and you came back to it, you just not remember where things were. So now, we also have the object selector as well as the drop down. You can actually switch it under options. Down here, object selector. You can do drop down, which is just a normal drop down. wants to load. There we go. Um, with the numbers, which is so nice. That was on my pretty much top I want features for MB list, the having numbers on the drop down thing, and that's not what I wanted to click. I wanted to click this option. Um, you have the extended, which goes to the object selector. So you can, it, it's like the switches and variable selectors. Um, so you have all of this stuff, and it's just, it's great. Um, it brings up all your items, or, or... I don't think it does it for... Oh, yeah, it does it for characters, too, if you have a lot of them, I guess. Um, and would that do that for, like, here? Yeah, it does that for here, too. So you can just select everything. It's just... It's wonderful. That's... That's my favorite feature <laughs> um, that was added in this update. Like, by far. And... Smart, which I'm not sure what it does. By the description, I figured it automatically selected stuff based on... I don't know how many were there, or what's relevant, or something to that effect. But that seems to be everywhere, which is super, super nice. Um, another thing that they added that's really interesting, actually, is um, copying event commands as text or HTML. Um, I... I'm sure there's a reason to copy it to HTML, but I don't know what it is, because I likely myself wouldn't use that. But as for copying to text, it's actually really convenient, because what I can do when you guys are all like, Echo, how do I event this? I can just go like this and have it not want to stay selected. There we go. Copy as text. And then... Voila! Just copies all of my commands, and it's just so great. I'm so glad that was a thing. Show team, yay. Um, that's something I'm super looking forward to using as well. Copy to HTML. We'll copy it to, like, HTML code or something to that effect. And this is what it looks like. I'm sure there's a reason this is important to people. I just don't know what it is, and I don't... I, 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 I wouldn't use it, because I'm... I, I wouldn't, and I don't know what any of this means. Actually, I've got a good idea what this means. I just don't know why I would use it. But that is great for the people who do, and that is awesome. Um, one, I think, last thing. I'm sure they added more than what I'm showing off here. It's just this is what I've either read or I've noticed. If you actually want to read the entire list of 
plugin or plugins of updates and such. There is this site where you get to download it from. Um, you just download it right here. There will be a link in the description. And there's also Yonfly, he or she or bunny person. <laughs> um, love you, Yonfly. Decided to uh, give us this nice little pretty much breakdown of all the things that have been updated in um, version 1.3.0. So that's really great. Um, I like that. That's that's very nice. I like knowing what's actually changed and what's going to actually break my game. Um, fun updating. And I think there was just the one last thing I actually wanted to talk about, which is the splash screen plugin they added. Um, I don't think they added any other ones in here. It doesn't look like it. They added a couple in the last update. I didn't do a video on the last update because I didn't see much that they actually changed. Now, normally when you... St Hi, go away. I clicked cancel. Also, um, I totally wish they got in like a search thing here because when you have like a million plugins, it'd be nice to just be able to search the one you're looking for instead of going like, huh, I think that plugin was by Hime. Maybe it's this one? Oh, no, 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 is it this? I don't know. Um, <laughs> anywho, um, splash screen, uh, made with envy. Because that's what you want. You want to say, my game is made in envy and it's awesome. Um, it'll give you a nice little start screen, or splash screen, when you start up the game. Um, I believe the image is under system? Probably. Let's see, image, system. Yeah, this one. So if you wanted to edit it to be your own thing, um, you just need to edit the image itself, and then that should... Wow, my computer's running terrible today. Um, that should just, uh, didn't double click you, darn it. That should update the image on it. Although, I would highly recommend not keeping that on while you're editing, um, and working on your game. Because what's going to happen is you will get so sick and tired of seeing that, that you're just going to want to throw it against a house or something. Let's just make this a little more, uh, stylin'. So yeah, you just need to edit this. Put a little smiley face. And then that should change in here. No. So yes, I definitely keep that off for ed editing, because that's just going to take forever when you're trying to, you know, work on events. So I'd, I'd keep that off when you aren't actually using it. I'd also definitely recommend changing the graphic into something you prefer better. Um, just because it'd be the same as everyone else's otherwise. Maybe keep the logo. Just, woo, make it pretty. <laughs> Anywho, um, I believe that is all I really wanted to cover. I can't think of anything else that they changed that is uh, worth noting. I'm sure there's probably things I haven't come across yet. What's this? This is just the event searcher. I haven't actually clicked it from there before. Um, but all in all, I think they did a lot of good things in this one. I'm really digging that uh, they brought numbers back. That is just so helpful. It is so much easier trying to find, like, number 50 instead of trying to find, you know, drop increase somewhere. Especially if your things are a little disorganized. And even if they are organized, it's like, okay, well, I'm looking for something that has a similar name as something else, and where is it? And, ugh. Anyway, that is all for my thoughts and views and looking at all the pretty things for MV 1.0, or what, yeah, words, words, um, 1.3.0, it's great, I'm so happy we get an update, um, things work better, it's good, looking forward to be able to be, be able, can I just words for once in a video that's unscripted, um, I'm looking forward to be able to getting my game working again with all the slight updates to graphical stuff. I'm glad the editor works better, and overall, I, I do think it's a very good update, and I'm looking forward to more, hopefully, in the future. Anyway, that has been my thoughts. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time, gamers!